Hello. So you have services running with Runit, but we need logging in order to have some visibility into what each service is doing. Fortunately for us, uh, Runit uses uh, Runit uses pipes to standard out, so we can easily achieve this. This is actually something of a pet peeve of mine. Oftentimes, you'll get programs that will use their own interface, so it's difficult to get logging set up rather than use standard input, standard output, and standard error. Uh, these file descriptors exist for a reason, so that the end user can determine for themselves what logging solution they'll use. And maybe they'll use the system logger, maybe they'll pipe it to an offsite location, who knows? And uh, whatever, anyway, enough about that. <laughs> um, anywho, Runit provides its own logging solution in sblogd. This also, handles log rotation as well. From this, we need to redirect uh, standard error to standard output. Otherwise, uh, our logs won't catch anything written to standard error. However, that's easy enough. Um, let's see, sb hello run. Uh, and then we just add exec to at one. If we want to look at what that does, we can go back to the manual page for KSH, and we can do a uh, redirection. It's a pretty big file, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, no, that's uh... okay. Here we go. So exec. If we do exec IO redirection without a command, then the IO redirection is permanent. So uh, here we're saying uh, redirect standard error, standard out. And then anything following this ex execution uh, script will follow that, even if we call like other scripts, um, like I don't know, uh, blah. Anyway, so to set up logging, we need to actually create a, an appendant service to hello. So let's make a directory dot config sv hello log, and then we will edit config sv hello log run. And this is pretty straightforward. And then we just want to call sv log d. I like the triple t. Actually, let's just look that up. sv log d, and then we can look up triple t. So there are different types of timestamps we can do. This will be some sort of integer. And then this will be uh, this format. And then TTT will be this format, and so on and so forth. And there are a bunch of other options there if you want to take a look at that. So TTT. And we'll, uh, we'll log to my local state directory. And we actually need to make that. <laughs> Uh, dot local state run it. Is that what I said? Uh, hello. Okay, I think we're done with that. And then we can also set the config for that. So if we go back to man log sv log d, there should be a config directory or a config file. Uh, option to file config. And then you can see on startup after receiving the HUP signal, SV log D checks for each log directory with the configuration file log config exists. And it so reads the file line by line. And these are the options. So we need to actually uh, call into the local state run it hello config file. And I want the max size to be a thousand bytes and I want the max number of files to be five, the min number of files to be three, um, and rotate this every 24 hours or 86400 seconds. And then prepend every log message with the hello like descriptor. And uh, actually, I don't know. So if we use, we can use the SV program to manage this. And I don't know if I've shown this yet, but we can do say SV status, hello. 
uh, unable to change to service directory. Oh, okay. So I need to change. If we go back to nn 8 sv we can see that the uh, there are certain environment variables. Uh, the SV dir points to uh, slash service by default. We want that to actually point to uh, our directory. Uh, local service and then SV status hello should give us that. Let's see, normally up, one up, and then warning hello log, unable to open, supervise, okay. So that's because we haven't uh, started the service. So let's do service SV reload hello. And then we should be able to see, well, first of all, we need to <laughs> chmod 700 the, uh, the, lo the log run script. So let's do that. Uh, log run. Let's try this from the beginning. Let's uh, stop, run it, and then let's remove the dot local service hello symbolic link. Let's check that there are no errant processes. Uh, let's see, SV down. All right, yeah, that doesn't work anymore. Uh, let's just kill these two, seven, six, five, four, and six, eight, nine, three. Okay, and then I guess we'll just start it again. <laughs> SV status hello, there's nothing in there. Okay, and then so we, we need to link symbolically uh, home Joseph. Uh, config sv hello to dot local service check this and we can see that the log service is running and if we tail it still nothing um that's a little weird i'm gonna see do a little troubleshooting Maybe I'll try running the actual script first. Let me uh kill that. Uh, let's see. Do as stop uh, rccpl stop run it. Okay, let's actually check to see if it's gone. Yep. Okay, and then we still need to kill these. And six, three, seven, three, nine. All right, that should be gone. Everything looks clean here. And then we can run, let's do uh, dot local bin run it. Ah, there is an error. <laughs> I see what's going on. Let's kill that. Uh, let's uh, kill one eight one four two eight zero eight two eight and three four zero oh, two two. Uh, yeah. So there was an error, unexpected. On dot run. So let's see what's going on there. Uh, okay. This should be fine. This should be fine too. Maybe I need to get rid of this space, but that doesn't make sense. I mean, I'll try it. Oh, this seems to have worked. Uh, let's let's kill that. Two three one five five zero oh, six nine seven. One seven nine zero. All right, that seems to be working. And then let's just start this script again. Okay, that's working. And let's see if it's running. It is running. And then let's tail it. Uh, let the state run it. Hello, current. Oh, look at that. I 
I made this too small. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and change that. Uh, no, it's should be in local state. Run it. Hello, config. Let's add another zero there. And let us actually let's go ahead and see. You can see that there are. We can see that there are files here, but they're not big enough to hold all this stuff. <laughs> um, so uh, let me re. Uh, let's see. If we go to SV status hello, we can all just do SV status hello log, and we can uh, stop hello log, and then we can check. Yep, log is down, and then we'll just. Uh, Start it again or SV up. And now we should be able to tail it without the log being replaced. <laughs> um, there you go. Uh, again, I apologize for the nature of the the video here and working through and troubleshooting all these problems, but you know, I guess if I have these problems, you won't in the future. So that's how I look at that. But what if we don't want to use SV log D? but instead want to use the base systems logger. Like if we look at these logs, these are in UTC, uh, or I guess, yeah, UTC um, time. And what if I want to use a system time? That's pretty easy too, because Runit is working with standard out. Um, first, let's check syslog D. So this, this is the OpenBSD uh, system log daemon. Um, you write system system messages to log files or and so on and so forth. It's pretty straightforward. And you can see you can do that with this uh, command or program. So yeah, let's let's give it a try. Uh, let's put this out and let's clean this up. I'll leave this one up. Um, let's try a, a few test log messages. So uh, if I go to var log messages, you can see I have a bunch of system logs here. And if I were to say, hello, echo, hello world, uh, to logger and P, what is that? Man, logger, I'll show you. P is basically the priority. So you enter a facility level, a facility and level pair. Uh, so that would be here, I guess, user.info. And I'll, I'll tell you why I do user.info in a minute. Um, and then we want to tag that as run it. And you can see, hey, this message that was tagged run it was sent to the log. Now, how did I know all that? Well, let's check out the syslog.conf file. You can see that syslog.conf is a configuration file. Basically, it says which, how do you feed, how do you redirect different logs to which files? Um, and you can see examples here. And if we go to, uh, let's see, syslog.conf, you can see that user in all user info uh, messages are sent to the var log messages file. And another thing we need to know about is the new syslog.conf file. And this is basically the uh, configuration file that tells new syslog how to rotate out old log files. Um, and we can see that over here. Whoopsie. And you can see these are a bunch of files. This tells you uh, different settings for that, like uh, how many files you want to keep, what size what size should the files be before you rotate them out and how often you should rotate them out and what flags and so on and so forth. So if we want to use that, we need to update these two files. So let's start by adding a log file, local state, run it, and we'll just call it run it. Then we need to uh, update our run it.rc file. And we need to add the daemon logger uh, variable, I think. Let me check that again. RC dot subroutine. Yeah, it's daemon logger. 
And here we want to set it to uh, user.debug. And the reason I want to do that is because, um, let's see, uh, syslog.conf. The reason I don't want to use user.info is because var log messages is already capturing user.info messages. Um, and I don't want my run at service polluting those messages. So I, I'm going to set it to user.debug. And then that should be it for this. And then I need to install it. Uh, do as install owner root group wheel mode 555 run it rc into etsy rc run it okay that's installed and then we need to update the etsy syslog.com file whoops uh vim um and then we'll just we'll just copy these two lines and then paste them here uncomment that and then set this to run it and Set this to home, Joseph. Uh, lo local state, run it, run it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, and then we want to update the new syslog. Com file. I don't know. Uh, I know why that error is happening, but I don't want to deal with it right now. So, uh, let's see. Let's change this. The Joseph, this the Joseph, and then uh, this is all fine. Um, and then let's change this. Home Joseph dot local state run it run it. Okay, and then. After that, we need to do as rcctl restart syslog d. Okay. And uh, I guess we can test this out. Tail state run it, run it. Uh, let's, okay, whoopsie. Let's make this clear what that is. Okay. Um, let's say echo hello world logger dash p user dot debug this time and then tag it run it yeah and that works we can see that uh messages are definitely getting captured into this log file now uh let's see i need to check is my yeah my run my logger is running so let's turn that down SV logger hello log. Uh, and then, yep, that's down. And then we need to update dot config SV hello log run. And we don't need this anymore. Instead, we need exec logger I T. Uh, let's call it run it. And then user dot debug. And then let's go ahead and put this back up. We can check the status. It is up. We can check the process tree. There is a logger. Uh, we can check the logger. Uh, run it, run it. Yep, messages are being logged. Go now and log with courage. If you have any questions for me, be sure to check out my website josephcho.com. I'm all over the place. Twitter, GitHub, Reddit. You get the idea. Take care.